All right, so now we're going to look at drawing up this building and then placing the building on the hillside that we just made. Before uh, SketchUp 2016 came out, I actually would have advised to pull up the axis tool and drag the axis uh, to this shape so that it would be easier to follow along. But I got to be honest, with SketchUp 2016's new inferencing tools, I actually don't think that's as necessary. It seems like the drawing is a lot easier to do and it is easier to recognize some of the parallel lines as you're drawing. So I'll just gonna I'll just start drawing this this uh, line. Start from here. So I'm starting from this point. I'm just gonna draw to that. Now it's gonna automatically create a uh, parallel or not, perpendicular line, I should say. And it's inferencing this line. You can see as it turns pink. So that's what I'm talking about. I kind of like that it does that. I can hold Shift down and take it all the way to the edge of this this shape. And again, it's gonna follow that same um, that opposite line because it's inferencing that, which is great. So again, holding shift down, I'm just making my way all the, all the way across. And I'm not that worried about making sure that this shape is uh, super, super accurate because we're really just drawing off of a plan for demonstration purposes. Now I'll go with my arch tool and I'll click from this point to this point and draw an arch out that way and I'll follow this one as well. Just kind of roughly, loosely doing it. Now I can go ahead and delete these yellow lines that I don't want. And again, the reason this is black is because of the style I'm working in. I'm working in the blue and orange style, which has this black interior. So it's only black looking because I'm working on this one style. Okay, group this, open it up, push pull it up into place. So now let's go ahead and unhide the hill. So here's my hill. Let me open, make this a little higher. Whoops, push this up a little higher like that. So here's my hillside. So obviously this shape needs to be a little bit, um, needs to be cut out of this building. So what I'm gonna do is move this up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this style off. I'm gonna go back to my default, um, default styles. And I'm gonna go back to my landscape architecture just so it's a little easier to see what I'm doing. Okay, I want to cut this shape out of this hill, but I also wanna cut out the yard. So I'm gonna make another I'm just gonna, with my tape tool, I'm gonna pull out a shape right off of this. So within this same group, I'm just gonna add to this, the shape on the bottom that is the yard. So it's also going to stamp that away. Let's go ahead and undo that. Okay, so now that this is raised up in place, I'm going to select my stamp tool and the first thing it wants me to do is choose the item or object that I want to use as a stamp. So this is my stamp. So I'm going to click once on that. Now look and see what happens here. There's a little red line here and it's telling me that that is the offset. So it's going to offset two feet. Let's do three feet enter. So it offsets a little bit higher and let's now second step is to click on the shape below the hill. So I'm gonna click once on that hill and you'll see that it's giving me that same shape and I can either pull it up or down. I'm gonna pull it all the way down until I hit the floor. Click. So what I've done, you know how to hide this, is I've, I've, I've been able to cut out this shape from the hill using this as a stamp. Now I can move this into place and bring it down and you can see that there's a little offset there where it kind of staggers in. If I didn't want that offset at all I could have, let's take this back, I'm going to undo this all the way to, to zero to, or to where we were. I'm going to try this again, this time I'm not going to do an offset at all. So I'm going to select my stamp tool, select this by clicking on it, and then typing zero feet enter for the offset. So you can see the red is now right at the edge of this shape. And then I'm going to click on the hill and it's going to pull that. It's going to give me the ability to pull that up or down again. 
I'm going to pull it all the way down. I'm going to pull it actually even down a little bit below. So it's really obvious. It's really extreme. Now I can move my shape into place. Just drop it right down on top of that. And there's no offset there. There's no, um, there's no taper in any way. It just goes right up to the edge of it. So that's a faster way of doing this than having to actually cut into this shape. So that is how to stamp, use the stamp tool to place an existing building onto a hillside.